Okay guys, there seems to be a little bit of confusion about cropping your photos and drawing them that way. So you can see my image is cropped on this side, but my petals are not cropped on any other side. The blue goes all the way to the edges and not the petals. I need those petals to go to my edges, okay? You can do this in a couple different ways. You can simply draw a line where you feel like you want your edge to be. You can take a separate piece of paper and kind of tape it down and crop it that way. I'm just going to take the edge of my paper here and kind of fold it over to make sure now that piece of my petal is going off the page, that piece of my petal is going off the page, and that part of my petal is going off the page. But this does need to be in the same proportion as your paper, okay? And right now, mine is not. This is more of a long rectangle, and my paper is not quite so skinny and long. So I'm gonna go ahead and crop this even more on my bottom edge to make it more in a proportional rectangle to my paper, okay? Now you can use our grid method that we just learned in our self-portrait, and you can do one inch grids or you can follow using the width of the ruler, something like that to help you, and then do the same width on your larger paper. However, that's going to not give you um, accurate proportions when we enlarge something. So what I'm going to have you do for this one is just draw a grid um, that halfway through both sides. So half of this measured it out already. Okay, this was three and a quarter. So half of three is one and a half plus an eighth. I did that on both sides and then I drew my line. Same thing on this side, this was four and a half, so measured it out, drew my line, and then I'm gonna do half of this paper going both ways. So you can see I already drew my grid on here. Your grid on your good copy needs to be nice and light, okay? This is going to help us get my image from being this size to being the size of my paper. So what I'm gonna do is use this grid line to help me figure out how big this circle part of my flower should really be now on my large piece of paper. I'm also gonna use my edges to kind of determine how much of that box is used. So if I look at this line, it's not dividing my circle in half. There's definitely more on the bottom than there is on the top. I would say this line comes about halfway through this rectangle, maybe a little less. So if I determine how big this rectangle is, I can come halfway through it. And if you're more mathematical, you can measure this out. So I'm gonna come up just a little bit more. I'm just eyeballing it. And I'm gonna give myself a little line to measure out exactly where I think that's supposed to start. And then I can see that this is gonna come out and it's almost halfway through this line but it's lower, it's right about here is where that spot is gonna be that it's the widest. And as it crosses the line, it comes in more than halfway. So it comes in right about here. And then the top of this goes off, I would say this is maybe my halfway point of this box. This is maybe half of a half is a quarter, and this is not quite touching that. So it's less than a quarter. So if I have my full box here, I'm gonna do half of that and half of that is going to be about a quarter and it was less than a quarter. So I'm gonna come down even less and give myself a little mark there, okay? And now I'm gonna try and draw this part. And I feel like it should be a little bit higher, okay? I'm using my observation skills now to go back and try to give myself this guideline of where this center of the flower is supposed to be. And I'm using my little sketchy lines here so I can control it a little bit better and get an idea of what this should sort of feel like and sort of be like here. There we go. Make sure that meets. Get rid of my extra lines. Feel like that needs a little bit better of a curve. Fix that up. Okay, so I've got that center part done. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with each one of my petals. Yes, you're actually drawing each petal as you see it. So I can see for this first petal up here that it starts more than halfway through this box. If this were my halfway point, this is even more than that. So I'm gonna find my halfway point, figure out about where I think that starts. I see that it comes out pretty wide and then it comes back in, there's a little bit of a bump and it goes off just above the circle. So right here on my paper is where it's gonna go off. 
So now what I'm going to do is kind of let my eye follow along and kind of sketch this out. Again, I'm using my sketchy line. I want this to get wide. You can see it gets pretty wide here. Keep looking back to what I'm trying to draw. And then it gets this kind of bump out. And it goes in a little bit. Okay, so there's my first petal. Erase my couple mistakes that I made. And I'm going to do that for each one of my petals. I can see my next petal actually touches this line here. It kind of goes off a little bit, just like that. And then it kind of lines up with this. So I'm going to just go and make that next petal. Same thing for my next one. I see there's a little bit of blue showing here, so it must not start till here. I'm going to measure out. It gets about a quarter of the way there, and then it comes down from there. I don't see where the other side of this goes. It touches the next petal. So then that would bring me to this next petal that I would create. Okay, and I'm just literally going petal by petal, adding these in. I have some back petals that I would have to add in as well that are going to be another layer of petals that I would do. I would also go back when I'm done and add some of these details that I can see inside of here. But if I'm making them this size, that's the size they are on this paper. That's not right. These are going to need to be really pretty big details inside of this because this flower is so much bigger than what this one is. So keep that in mind. I really want you to enlarge things. Remember, O'Keefe made them so that you could not miss them. So you have to enlarge and make sure that they go together.